Hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And the other day I had a chance to put old putt putt in the river. That's my old long tail mud motor, a little six and a half horse. And he wasn't running just exactly right, so I think we need to do a little operating on putt putt today. Go gather up a few tools. <laughs> I got a 10 millimeter, a flathead, a Phillips head and a pair of pliers. <laughs> that ought to be enough tools for this operation. <laughs> First thing we got to do is pull this breather off. Let's see if I guess the right size. Sometimes you get lucky. Folks, I've noticed in the last <laughs> few videos I've made I do an awful lot of moaning and groaning. I got good reason to. That stroke kind of <laughs> messed me up pretty good. But, uh, and I've developed some gout in this wrist and kind of, oh, I, <laughs> I told you I do a lot of groaning in my shoulder and stuff. Man, it's about to get the best of me. That got some bad stuff. So if any of y'all's got some miracle cures on how to get some relief from some gout, <laughs> leave it in the comments. I'll be greatly appreciated. I'll show you what I suspect the culprit is. If you will look right down here, see if I can do this. Right there. See that? You got to take this idle screw out to get this piece out that's out down under it down there. The quality of gasoline we have these days is so good. <laughs> Boy, that sun's bright. <laughs> I have to do this little procedure ever so often. If if the thing sets up for a little while, that, that good quality gas we got, it just gums this little thing up. <laughs> but my memory is not too good. And every time I... Uh, take that breather and all off so I can get to that screw and wh when I do I realize I don't even have to take that stuff off to get to it I just make the job harder than it has to be <laughs> Alrighty, and I believe that right there is a culprit I can't even see through it I forgot to grab a can of carburetor cleaner I'll be right back See, this thing is supposed to supposed to have a hole in it to let the air come through. So I'm going to, oh boy, try to spray some carburetor cleaner through this. I, if I can mash the button. <laughs> uh. <coughs> It's all kind of trash come out of it. I still can't see through it. Uh, of course, that ain't saying a whole lot. I can't see good these days anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me a piece of wire and stick it in that little hole right there and clean it out too. Golly, I'm in trouble now. I had a phone call and I laid a little jet down somewhere. <laughs> and now I can't can't find it. Oh man. Where is it? Oh! <laughs> there it is. Whew. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I found that thing. That would have been a mess. I'm going to pop her right back down in here. Oh. There's that part. Now we put this little idle screw back in here. We going to get it. <laughs> Got to run grab putt putt starter. <laughs> I made me a 
I got a little old cheap electric drill motor and I bought me a, a ratchet and adapter and that way uh, this drill motor will spin this thing okay and if the motor cranks up going fast see it'll ratchet and keep spinning so that'll give me a second to pull it off and it seems to work pretty good let's give it a try see how puff puff's making out okay choke gas on oh switch it on uh oh <laughs> my battery's about dead <laughs> I got to go charge the battery. <laughs> Don't forget to charge that thing before your fishing day. You'll really be mad. <laughs> well, I got the battery charges. <laughs> I don't know if it's charged long enough or not. But we're going to find out. Maybe. <laughs> It's amazing what a little old bitty hole you can barely see through. Getting just a little bit of sludge or something in it can mess a motor up, but it sure will. But the design I've made on this thing is pretty good. Most of them, you have to drop your bowl or either pull your carburetor off or do a whole lot of work. But this thing here is it's a Predator 212. I think it's a, it's a clone of a Honda, so maybe the Honda's the same way. I don't know. I keep forgetting every time I do this, but after I get into it, I realize you don't even have to take the air breather or nothing off of this thing. Just take a Phillips head screwdriver, back out the idle adjustment, and then take a flathead screwdriver and reach in there and pry up the jet, and it comes right out the top of the thing. And squirt a little carburetor cleaner in there and blow it out and stick it back in, you're good to go. <laughs> and just remember, folks, <laughs> whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all. <laughs>